Good day students, welcome to mathcutcert.com. In this um, installment, we're going to be going over number two on indirect proofs, which is proof by um, contraposition. Feel free to visit our website at mathgoodserve.com for a collection of, wide, of a wide variety of math tutorials ranging from algebra to calculus. All right, so for this, um, for this clip, we're going to be going over the following proof. Number two. <clears throat> Number two, we're going to prove that, um, prove that if m square is, is odd, then m is odd. Okay, we're going to prove this by a contraposition. The other ways that you can um, carry out this proof, but I just want to show you how to carry out um, a proof by uh, contraposition, okay? All right, so before I go ahead and show you how to carry out this proof, I'm going to digress a little and talk about the whole idea of proving by contraposition. Um, this is based on the idea that, <clears throat> let me split my workspace so that we don't overlap. Um, it's based on the fact that um, P implies Q and um, not Q implies not P are logically equivalent, okay? So if you want to prove P implies Q is sufficient to show, if you show that not Q implies not P, then in, in essence, you've shown that P implies Q because these two are logically equivalent, all right? <clears throat> So let me go ahead and show you using truth tables that these two are logically equivalent. So let's say we have P, Q, and P implies Q. Let's see um, what the truth table is for um, this implied statement. And then we'll compare our, out our results with um, not Q implies not P, okay? So for um, the first statement, P implies Q, Let's go true, true, false, false. And then for Q, true, false, true, false. All right, so true implies true, that's true. True implies false, that's false. False implies true, that's true. And false implies false, that's true. All right, so we have true, false, true, true. Now let's do um, not Q and um, not P, all right? Not Q and not P. And then we're going to see what not Q implies not P yields. So let's do this. So um, we want to see what the output of not Q implies not P is. Not Q implies not P is the contrapositive of P implies Q, okay? So we're looking at not Q implies not P. So note, this business right here, this is the contrapositive, contrapositive. I'm just trying to show you that these two are logically equivalent and it's sufficient to prove that if you can show that the uh, contrapositive statement is true, then it follows that the original statement is also true. All right, so let's go ahead and fill out this truth table just to establish the logical equivalence of the statement and its contrapositive. So we have true, false, true, false. If we take the negation of Q, what we have is the opposite of these um, states right here. So true, false, true, false becomes false. True, false, true, okay? All right, and then not P, we're just gonna negate um, these states right here. Um, so we have false, false, true, true, all right? So let's see what's the, um, conclusion is going to be we have false implies false that's true true implies false that's false false implies true that's true and then true implies true that's true now let's compare the um, P implies Q and not Q implies not P what do you notice true false true 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 false true true which shows that these two statements are logically equivalent all right so that's what we're going to do here I want to prove that if m squared is odd, then m is odd. 
we want to prove that by contraposition. So let me rewrite it. So let's go ahead and write our proof. Um, so we have if m square is odd, then m is odd. All right, so let's call p comes first, right? So p is m square is odd. And then q, do you, can you identify what q is? This piece right here is p. Um, m squared is odd, that's p. Do you see where q is? q is m is odd, All right? So that's what q is. So q is m is odd. So what do we have here? We have a p implies q situation. If m squared is odd, then that implies that m is also odd. Now what I want to do to prove by composition by contraposition is to show that the statement not Q implies not P is true, all right? So this is P and this is Q, then um, what is not P? Not P is the statement M squared is not odd or M squared is even, all right? If you're not odd, you're even. And Q, M is odd, the negation of that statement, the negation of Q, is m is not odd or m is even all right so what we want to do in this proof is we want to show we want to show that not q implies not p the negation of the conclusion implies the negation of the hypothesis is true if I can show that this is true then since the logical equivalent it automatically follows that P implies Q is true, okay? So let's go ahead and write down this statement. Um, so we wanna show that not Q implies not, not Q implies not P is true, or that if um, M is not odd, or if M is even, then M square is not odd, or M square is even. All right, we want to show that this is true. That's the objective. All right, so um, let's go ahead and take advantage of the definition of odd and even numbers. So um, since M is even, then what does that mean? That means that M is equal to 2K for some integer Okay, all right, and this is by definition, by um, definition of even. So by definition, we have this situation. All right, so let's carry out some algebraic um, procedures on this equation so we can get a value, an expression for, that's equal to m squared. So to accomplish that, we simply square both sides of the equation, okay? So we square the left side, m squared, and we square the right side also, so that we preserve um, the equivalence, the equality here. So if you square m, squ m, m squared is just m squared. And if you square 2k squared, you have 4k squared using the properties of exponents. Let's see here, we can write it says m squared equals, back to the 2, 2 times 2k uh, squared. Okay, um, k squared. It's an integer by closure because we know that um, um, integers are closed under multiplication. What does that mean? An integer times an integer will give you an integer, okay? So k squared is an integer, so let k squared is equal to, let's call it n, okay? Let k squared be equal to n for some integer n for some integer n. So we have, what do we have? We have the situation where m squared is equal to two times n. So if m squared is equal to two times n, where n is an integer, m squared is even by definition. m squared is even by definition, hence, um, not 
uh, Q implies not P is true, which follows that, which follows that. The contrapositive of this, P implies Q is also true. All right, so that basically completes our proof. We can put our little box of accomplishment to show that uh, we are done. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other um, cool tutorials such as this. Do post a comment in the comment section to let us know what you think about this uh, clip. And you can give us a thumbs up or favorite this clip if you liked it. Our clips can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.